Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about null safety in Dart. With the help of null safety, you can avoid null error on your program. Now let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo of null safety in Dart. Okay, here you can see some important information about null safety. Null safety is a feature in Dart programming language that helps developer to avoid null error. Okay, you can avoid null error. I will show you uh, what uh, null error very, very soon. Okay, this feature is called null uh, sound null safety in Dart. This allows developer to catch null error at edit time. While you are just writing code, you can find null error. And let's talk about advantages of null safety. You can write safe code. Write safe co code means you can write error free code. Okay, with the help of null safety. It reduces the chances of application cra crashes. If you uh, create application and that application uh, doesn't use null safety, then your application uh, may crash multiple times because of that null error. But thanks to null safety, uh, it, uh, it helps you uh, to not crash application or reduce the chances of application crash okay and another one is easy to find and fix the bug in your code you can easily find the bug and fix the bug that is the thing and here is one important note with uh, null safety avoids null errors null errors i will show you what is null error very very soon runtime box runtime box means while you are running your application and bug came there that is runtime bug vulnerabilities and system crashes which are difficult to find and fix okay and here is one example using null in variables okay if you are coming from other programming language then you can write null okay just like a string name is equal to null okay this is possible but in that this is not possible because you can't write uh, null in a string type you you have to write a string here okay you must write a string here for example i'll say zone okay this is the thing okay if you write here null then this is null error okay if you write here null then this is null error you have to write some name okay i'll say zone and there is uh, if you want to also write null okay there is also way null if you write question mark after this string then you can write null here this question mark means you can write null as well as string okay that is the thing okay i'll remove this question mark for now okay a string name is equal to i'll say zone okay now let's move forward here you can see in this example below the variable is is a in type if you pass null value to this variable it will give an error instantly okay here you can see integer age is equal to null it will give error okay uh, if you write question mark after integer then it will work okay uh, writing that question mark uh, means you are 100 percent sure that you are uh, taking full responsibility of that variable okay problem with null let's talk about problem with null what happen when you write question mark here okay programmers do have a lot of difficulties while handling null values they forget that there are null values so the program breaks in the real world null mostly act as a time bomb for programmers which is ready to break the program null is waiting to break the program thanks to null safety okay and common causes of error in programming generally comes from not correctly handling null values okay there is one concept uh, non nullable by default it means variable and fields are non nullable by de default which means that they cannot have a null value unless you explicitly allow it okay it doesn't contain null value name doesn't contain null value okay this is not possible but if you explicitly write question mark here then this is possible okay 
this is the thing if i print name then if i run this dot null work dot dot file then this will print null okay this is possible but if you don't write question mark then this is not possible because this is non nullable by default okay but explicitly you can do it okay now let's move forward and here you can see integer product id is equal to 20 this is non nullable because here in integer we have value 20 and uh, if you write integer product id is equal to null then it will give error how to declare null value just writing question mark okay you can declare null value not only in string but you can also declare in integer integer mark is equal to 100 okay this is possible but integer mark is equal to null this is not possible you need to write question mark okay this is the thing if you want to if you are 100 percent sure and want to use null okay and how to assign values to a nullable variable okay here let's say string name this is null okay i'll make it null okay nullable variable this is nullable now nullable variable if i remove question uh, mark then this is uh, not nullable by default okay okay now i'll assign value name is equal to zone okay okay if i run this program it's a simple way you can assign value directly okay and uh, here is the same example assigning null to name you can again assign to null okay name is equal to null that is your choice okay if i run this program then you can see null got printed if you write question mark after the type then you can uh, write null as well as uh, value of that type okay now let's move forward how to use nullable variable okay how you can use nullable variable there are generally three ways one is using if condition uh, and another one is using exclamation and another one is using double uh, question mark okay first let's talk about if okay okay i will uh, i will say if name is equal to is equal to null then i will print name is null okay name is null you can also use if condition okay i'll say null work dot i'll run the program here you can see na name is null got printed if i comment this one then this will not print name is null okay this is the thing and another one if you want to let let me write a string name to is equal to name okay here is problem okay if i remove name then it will work but if i uh, if here is null okay then this will not work in this situation one thing i can do is write a uh, exclamation sign here this will also work writing this exclamation sign means i am 100 percent sure that this contain value uh, or it will uh, throw exception okay now let me print name to name to okay if i run this program okay here you can see null check operator is used on null value okay this is the thing okay now if i remove this one then if i don't write name then this will also work okay zone got printed okay now there is uh, double question mark also if i have double question mark and i'll say a default name if name is null then it will uh, set the value as default name name to okay if i run this program here you can see default name got printed okay in this way you can use double question mark that is the thing here is also a same example you can try this example on your own now let's move to another example how you can define a list of nullable item okay you can uh, define a list of nullable item by writing just 
question mark after the data type. Now let's uh, define. I will create a new file and I will say list work dot dot. Okay. And let me write main method here. And I will say list of integer result or expenses or income income is equal to 100 200 300 400 and 5000 okay this is the income and let me print income okay that list work dot that okay here you can see 100 200 300 400 and 5000 got printed what if you want to write null here inside the list then you need to write question mark here okay and if i run this program here you can see null got printed okay and null is in index 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay if i say income 5 then this will print null okay here you can see null got printed in this way you can also use uh, this uh, you can also make a list nullable okay uh, null safety in that function okay let me create a function that uh, print the name okay i will create a function that is void uh, print name and let me pass name here and i will just print hello hello dollar name how are you okay that uh, okay now i'll remove this one and let me just write print name and i will say ram okay if i run this program list dot list work dot dot hello ram how are you got printed okay what if i pass null here then this will not work if you write question mark here then this will work okay this is you can also use this question mark on function also okay hello null how are you but writing question mark doesn't make any sense okay so just write name here this is also possible okay now let's move forward define a function with nullable parameter you can just write question mark that is the thing and null safety in that classes okay let's create one class i will create a class called person person work i will say person work dot dot let me create a class person and i will say string name string address and okay now i need to write question mark here okay question mark question mark okay and then let me write main method and let me create object of person person p is equal to person okay and if i print p dot name then it will just print okay person work person work dot dot okay here you can see null got printed okay if you are 100 percent sure then use question mark otherwise don't use this question mark okay okay you can also use constructor instead of question mark person this dot name this dot address okay this is also possible but you need to pass two values name is harry and address is usa okay and if i run this program then this is harry got printed if you are 100 percent sure then you can also write question mark here okay this is the thing okay now in this way uh okay in this way you can use uh, null value in class property and uh, uh, here is also one example here is class profile and here is uh, two fields or properties one is name and another one is bio 
and here is constructor and here is a uh, print profile method that will print a name if name is not null uh, that will print unknown if name is null okay uh, and here is bio uh, it will print bio if bio is not null if bio is null then it will print uh, non provided okay in the first in the profile one object we are we have passed both name and bio then it will just print name zone and bio is software engineer and uh, avid reader okay and another one is profile 2 profile 2 we are passing the name but uh, null in uh, passing the string in name but uh, null in bio it will just print the name jane and bio is non provided okay because if bio is null then it will just print or uh, it will just print uh, non provided okay that is the thing another one is profile 3 here you can see we are passing null to the name and uh, here is a string bio okay and here you can see name is unknown and bio is in string this is another uh, object that is profile 3 and in profile 4 we are passing both uh, null on name and bio okay if uh, if we print then it will just print name is unknown and bio is non provided and here are some important points in that about null safety uh, one thing is null means no value common error in programming is caused due to the null that 2.2 will introduce sound null safety to solve this problem and non nullable type is confirmed never to be null okay and sometimes you heard the word like nndb that means non nullable by default this is all about null safety in that we will also also we will also discuss about null safety in our upcoming section so like this video and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you